Youth Runner here with American Fork Star. And uh, this version of the Sugar House three mile course uh, record holder, uh, the great Caden Evans, uh, 1445 51 in the Utah High School Activity Association 6A final. That is now five consecutive individual titles for the cavemen, two for Mr. Jasper, two for Mr. Simmons, and obviously a long time coming uh, 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 for you. You were part of such an incredible lead pack uh, uh, last year, but obviously a uh, fantastic battle with, uh, with you and Jackson Spencer up there. I'm, uh, I'm, I just. How, uh, how much fun was uh, the second half of that race? It was so fun. I we came around about coming up to the second mile, and I was having so much fun out there. It's, it's honestly a great course. I love this course. So it, it really put a smile on my face to run it. You know, obviously, team was out here yesterday, being you know selfless and giving back to the community and helping people in the finish shoot and whatnot. And he's wearing like a complete yellow rain kit, right? Yeah. I'm just glad that everybody was out here today. Like you didn't have to. I mean, obviously, it's still a little bit soft from yesterday, but. Yeah. Just, how blessed did you uh, did you feel that like you guys you know have you know, have blue skies and white clouds and at least you know favorable conditions? I mean, not to say that you wouldn't be gritty and courageous and get through it yesterday, but just to have a you know kind of your better footing out there today. Yeah. yeah, we're extremely grateful as a team. We we talked about before. We were like, it doesn't matter the weather. We're gonna go out and do what we can do. We're gonna run our best. But thank goodness the weather was like this because it really made it a whole lot easier. So that's good. You have been throughout your <laughs> entire career, but especially the, uh, this year, like uh, you've been so motivated and you know and showed so much you know will and determination you race with so much heart and courage but then you also just uh just keep it so even keel uh i mean like just how much has that been you know a blessing of your teammates and you know and, and timo and the rest of the coaches but also the guys that you've had you know the honor of, uh, of running with before just to kind of keep it all in perspective and just really celebrate each day's training and you know and each opportunity to race uh at caden because you know, i know that you're enjoying yourself and like you come in, into the finish shoot and you know you let out the you know the caveman roar or whatever like that but it's like a lot of times it's just like you're just so even keel and so level-headed it's just like you just kind of just take all this in stride how do you manage yeah. all that um it you know I'll start from last year's when we lost everyone. It was like super hard to, you know, try and bring this team together. Be like, all right, we gotta, we gotta lock in. We gotta really show what it means to be part of the AF team. So, I think starting to be more of a team leader. I had three of my other team captains with me to help. But I think with all of us just leading the team to what we can do and just being like underdog mentality has definitely helped us a lot. So that's Most good. Most definitely. Speaking, uh, speaking of, I mean, obviously, iron sharpens iron. You guys are getting better every single time. You have an opportunity not just to race against. You know, Harriman, but you know, but everybody in uh, in six A, just three more weeks, obviously, for you to get better, for you to sharpen and fine tune, obviously, for the group as well. Before November twenty third in Arizona, so what, what's the level of optimism? Because for the longest time, you know, people are always saying like, okay, it's a, it's a when and not an if that AF's gonna you know gonna go to Arizona, they're gonna qualify, they're gonna go to XN, and they're gonna be in the podium hunt, if not the national championship hunt. Mm -hmm. This year, it's just kind of like, look, you know, maybe a lot of people are you know, looking in Colorado or they're looking in New Mexico or they're looking elsewhere and they're not looking where they should be looking. Like just how, how you know, how like inspiring and motivating is that for you and the group to be like, you know, if, if you sleep on us, you do it your own peril. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's like I said, underdog mentality. So after today, I'm sure we will all be super, we'll, we'll, I can't think of the word right now, but we'll, we'll be insanely You'll be, you'll be driven. We'll yeah. Be, yeah, we'll have a different drive in us. We will. We won't stop, you know, we'll, we'll be training as hard as we can, but it will be good. I'm sure Harriman will too, so the races will just keep getting more fun. So that's always good. Most definitely. And last thing, you know, uh, for, uh, for you personally, I mean, are you getting, like, the, the affirmation not only from the training, but obviously from performances like this? I mean, we can look at the time all we want, but in terms of how you're feeling, how you feel like, you know, just, the, you know, the, the body's holding up, the mind's holding up, you know, I mean, are, are you feeling like, Things are moving in the in the direction uh, that that encourages you heading into the two biggest races of your year. Yeah, for sure. I, yeah, with the team that where it's at right now, I think that I feel I feel like we have a great future ahead of us. I think it's all going to be good. Awesome, man. Fourteen forty-five record holder on this version of the course that doesn't involve the, uh, that that track o o over our shoulders. Uh, fantastic effort again, five in a row individually. Joining uh, Nate Jaster and Danny Simmons. Uh, well done. Congratulations. Thank you.